Hey, it's your buddy Ken here with the latest offering from DJI, and it is none other than your old friend, the Phantom 4 Pro 2.0, which has been made available again on the DJI.com website. And at the end of the video, you'll have your chance to win this case from GPC for your Phantom 4. Mmm, <laughs> blue. <laughs> The Phantom series of drones has been my go-to drone since I started in 2015 with a Phantom 2, which didn't have FPV. The Phantom 1, originally known just as Phantom, was released in January 2013. At that time, DJI wasn't offering their own camera, so you'd put a GoPro on this, very often without a gimbal. And then Zenmuse came along with their gimbal system for the GoPro, uh, but you only had 10 minutes of flight time. So, 2013 was a very important year for the Phantom series of drones. The FC40, Flying Camera 40, came out as an upgrade after the Phantom 1. And then the Phantom 2 Vision was offered in that same year, followed by the Phantom 2, the straight Phantom 2, which is what I started with. This is video of me and my girlfriend at the time launching the Phantom 2. I was very excited. However, I didn't know that my relationship with the Phantom would last a lot longer than it did with the girlfriend. You know I'll never leave you, right? There have been more versions of the Phantom series of drones from DJI than there have anything else in their inventory. And then in April of 2015, the Phantom 3 Professional was released. That had Lightbridge. Funny how they release these things right after us Americans get our tax refunds, isn't it? The Phantom 3 Professional was a huge deal for me. I was very excited when I got it, as you can see in this video. <laughs> That's probably not good for it. And isn't that the cool thing about these things? We can relive our childhood and regain some of that magic we felt when we got that new train set or bike. The Phantom series of drones from DJI has been my go-to drone for years. I've flown other DJI models, I've flown other brands, and still, whenever I absolutely have to have something done right, I return to the Phantom. I know its strengths, its weaknesses, I know how far I can push it, and it's just the most dependable drone I've ever owned. And that's why I have two of them. This is the Phantom 4 Pro 2.0. And many of you eagle eye viewers may have noticed that I have the older propellers on here. And there's a reason for that. It's because these are garbage. These silent propellers, they just make it fly uh, sloppily. Using these is like putting marshmallow tires on a Ferrari. That's just been my experience. So if you have these silent propellers, get rid of them and put the original 9450S propellers on. They're harder to find and some places are backordered like Amazon. I'll put a link to where I think you could probably get a set of these in the description. One of the greatest things about the Phantom 4 2.0 is that it features OcuSync. And when the Mavic Pro debuted in September of 2016, it featured this new transmission system. Which means using OcuSync, you can wirelessly hook up your goggles to your Phantom 4 2.0 without any cord or having to install the part 54 extra thingamawatts that's on your controller. Okay, but why are you telling us all this? Well, because the electronics industry wants you to spend your money on the latest and greatest thing. I'm sure you've all drooled over the Autel Evo 8K camera with all its many sensors and how it predicts earthquakes and will perk coffee for you. And I admit, the 8K footage would look great on your 8K television. Oh, what's that? You don't have an 8K television? Right. Let's do a little video comparison. This was filmed with the Inspire 2's X5S Zenmuse camera. It's fantastic footage, just wonderful. This video was filmed with the Phantom 4 Pro 2.0 equally as wonderful. Now, let's put them up side by side. Can you tell the difference? Sure, if they're side by side, you might be able to tell the difference. And this is really the point. If you have a flying camera that you're happy with, you don't need to upgrade to the latest and greatest thing and break the bank. You can't buy creativity. 
These are not real. But making it rain is fun. Fake rain, as it may be. Friends, I've flown all of the drones. All of them, from every company. And this is the one I keep coming back to. It's just the best. And I've had it in some pretty precarious situations over these past six years. I only wish I could find a woman who is as dependable as this drone. <laughs> oh, mi amor, you complete me. I love you so. Give us a minute. Uh... But Ken, what about the Mavic? Yes, the Mavic 2 Pro with the Hasselblad is a really good camera. The drone itself is very stable. And I've flown it a bunch of times and been very impressed. However, no mechanical shutter. This has the mechanical shutter. Why is that important? Well, if you're filming something fast, like a picket fence or some other movable object, you're gonna get electronic shutter distortion like this, unless you get the mechanical shutter, which eliminates that distortion. I could go on and on forever about the advantages of the Phantom 4 Pro 2.0, but you probably wanna know how to win this lovely case. Oh, it's so lovely. And it comes with a GPC strap for your controller. How about that? And heck, I'll even throw in these crappy props for you. These silent propellers. Just make sure you're subscribed. A thumbs up would be nice. Not necessary, but nice. And then comment below. The DJI Phantom 4 is the best drone ever made. Case closed. And I will pick a winner from those who comment. But Ken, my Mavic 2 folds. The Phantom 4 doesn't fold. Well, if you don't set your return to home settings properly, it folds quite nicely. Well, that's it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And thank you, DJI, for making the world's best prosumer drone. Until next time, buh and bye. <laughs> making it rain fake bills up in here. I bet in a dark strip club this would look pretty real. Ha 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 ha.